Welcome to All 22 Tuesday, number 19, as we work into December here with our plays of the week. We're going to take a, a break next week on Christmas Eve. We'll be back the following week to give you an All 22 Tuesday on the 30th, just a day ahead of time, so you can take a look at some plays next week. Uh, but joining, us, joining me as they do each week is Zach Dunn, who is our content coordinator at USA Football. Yeah, Keith, can't wait. And Charlie Coiner, who is the CEO and founder of First Down Playbook, former NFL and college coach. And uh, he's the guy who is behind everything at First Down Playbook. All the plays you see here, Charlie draws up plays more than anybody on the planet. Charlie, good to have you talking ball today. Hey, Zach, Keith, great to be here. Let's take a look at this play here. Uh, Buffalo defense at uh, the end of the game here against Pittsburgh from this past weekend. Yeah, we've actually got two clips. Uh, the first one, uh, I think, takes place somewhere in the second or third quarter. And the last one, yeah, Keith, you're exactly right, is the last play in a two-minute uh, drive. But, uh, you know, we've seen it before, but the Buffalo defense has done a really good job. Been looking for an opportunity to highlight them here on All-22 Tuesday. Uh, if you look at the Buffalo defense, you've got a lot of athletic, smaller guys, it looks like to me. But, man, they can run and they get after the quarterback. And so – as you're looking right here, you're going to see you've got A-gap muggers. And um, on the snap, you end up out of both of these defenses getting a nickel off of the edge. And in this, op in this point right here, he comes to the back. The back actually starts like he's going to have to block one of those muggers and uh, redirects. What ends up happening, I'm not sure if the lineman thought the back wasn't going to get over there. They communicated something like that. But end of the day, 71 fanned out to get the uh, nickel coming off of the slot and the back had him too. And so obviously when they did that, 93 uh, had the sack. And then the second clip that uh, Zach will get to eventually here uh, will show kind of the same things that this time the back was away. And, uh, the, you know, the, I think the tight end probably should have blocked this guy coming off the slot. Quarterback threw it up and uh, Buffalo – Picked it off, and they're going to the playoffs. So let's take a look at these two clips. So yeah, we're third and nine right here. And you know, they don't have a whole lot of people in the, back in the middle of the field. They run 23 back there late. But the back thinks he's going to have to block the A-gap, I guess. He starts inside and then comes back. I don't know if he would have been a factor on that guy or not if that tackle had to come out there. Tackle thinks he's got to block two now. Ends up not blocking the inside guy. So let's just take a look at it from the end zone. Nothing revolutionary here, but I do believe that there's something to be said, you know, just what Buffalo had, has done, did twice in this game and, and was effective. And you sit there and you look and, you know, this is an NFL defense. You go like, well, they should recognize that. But, you know, 71 is obviously gets confused with it. Yeah, Charlie, um, do you think here what Pittsburgh was doing was, you know, the typical they're going to half slide one way, then put the back on the other A-gap and, you know, fan out to the other side? And But do you think they're scanning the back here, you know, telling I, them, hey, you got that backer, but if you don't come, you know, pop out and scan? I think that's what it has to be. I think that – I, I think that um, – I don't even know. You watch the back when he when he comes back. I don't know that he's coming back to block. I think he might be coming to get out. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. Now you say it. Yeah, he actually right. He actually avoids the avoids yeah. the blitzer he, or the he circle. Had, yeah, he had a. I think he had a. Yeah. So maybe maybe the tackle wasn't wrong. Maybe they just out schemed him here and uh, they got four off to the side with only three blockers. And that back's not part of it, but. Um, you know, you look at this and you go like, once again, we see it all the time. You got four off a side, but you got really one one off of the uh, the right side as we look at it. And then let's just go ahead and take a look at the the one that sealed the game. It's very similar, uh, like you like you mentioned before, Zach. The back is now away, but once again, he's responsible for that mug. This time he stays in there and blocks it, but uh, they don't have an answer for this slot for the guy coming off the slot unless this tight end blocks him. And, and, you know, sometimes you can talk a tight end or, or back into it. You go like, man, the guy chip help, chip help, chip help. Got to help that tackle with, you know, with whoever. But 
at the end of the day, you cannot help a tackle with chip help if you've got uh, pressure coming off that edge, because that's nine times out of 10 going to be you, uh, your responsibility to block that or the quarterback better throw hot to you or something like that. And neither one happens here. Quarterback throws it up, Buffalo intercepts it. And like I said, they're off to the playoff for the second time in three years. Yeah. Also, really fantastic a, job by that coaching staff, I think. But yeah. Also, I mean, one thing here is if you're chipping and, and a guy's coming off the edge, that DN's going to spike inside anyway. So you don't really need to help the tackle right there. Exactly. I mean, to get help anyway. That's exactly right. All the plays you see here on All 22 Tuesday are drawn up in first down playbook. Charlie, tell our listeners a little bit about how they can get first down playbook. Absolutely. They want to go to firstdownplaybook.com, and uh, there'll be plenty of uh, messages there that will point in the right direction. I also want to mention that we are now talking to a lot of football coaches across the country about things we can do better, uh, things they want us to keep doing, and we are doing a webinar on almost every Monday through Thursday night at 8 o'clock Eastern. If you are a current first down playbook coach or somebody that's thinking about being the first down playbook coach, all you need to do is uh, join us for a 20 minute webinar. We'll show you around, answer all your questions. And then if you're not a customer yet, we'll put you on one week free. So uh, good time to learn about first down playbook. 